Hey everyone, the Pink Mac here with another weekly tech roundup. This week was kind of a big week, um, something a lot of people have been waiting for in the Apple community. Uh, it, on Wednesday was Apple's rock and roll event where I think a lot of people expected Apple, like usual, to roll out some really interesting new hardware, new features for their iPod line. And a few people were waiting for some things that maybe didn't necessarily fit into the iPod line, like the Apple tablet, which has been long awaited and basically we have to face it, it's just not coming anytime soon. A uh, really funny story, I actually went to the Best Buy um, around where I live with a girlfriend of mine on Tuesday because she wanted to buy a Mac and the quote unquote Apple certified sales consultant there basically told my friend that we shouldn't buy a Mac now because, this was Tuesday, on Wednesday, Apple was going to reveal really cool things like the iTablet. And I kept telling this guy, I'm like, look, no, there's really no proof that this is happening. Why would you tell us to not buy an Apple? And he basically was just, I'm an Apple certified consultant, I know what I'm talking about, and I'm like, no, you obviously don't. And he obviously didn't know what he was talking about because Wednesday came and went and there's no tablet and we got very few things, I think, really out of, that we were kind of expecting to get out of um, the rock and roll event on Wednesday. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about that stuff because everyone knows pretty much now what came out of there. And I actually want to, you know, throughout this week, I have a couple of posts that I want to put out on my blog. So if you want to read my thoughts on the things that came out on Wednesday at Apple's rock and roll event, their upgrades and all different things like that, head over to my blog this week and check it out because I am going to be talking more about that there. I really don't want to waste anyone's time here talking about something we all know already happened. So um, the second thing I wanted to talk about moving away from the Apple rock and roll event is a little update on my hard shell cases. I know if you've been following you probably know I've had two. I did um, originally use the in-case hard shell which is that satin feel similar to the spec see-through satin and then um, when was that maybe a month or so ago two months ago spec sent me the see-through hard shell, the not soft touch, the one that's just the regular shiny plastic. Um, and let me see, I made that, you know, I did that unboxing. I just want to let everyone know how I'm doing um, and how I feel about, you know, being someone who's tested both. I really think that in case um, has something really great going on with that soft touch. Uh, apparently it's very similar to the spec see-through satin, like I've said before, I've never seen the see-through satin. I've never really touched it um, other than a little bit very shortly at an Apple store just, you know, deciding on what I was going to get. But it is apparently a very similar feel. But I have to say I really like the spec see-through better. The hard shell that's just shiny. Um, I don't know what it is about there. Maybe because it, it just feels slicker. It just, to me, it appears as though it contours better to the shape of my MacBook better than the in-case did. Um, and you know, you may have the in-case and disagree with me, but that's just how I feel. And I'm really glad I've got this spec see-through. I'm really happy they sent it to me. Um, I really appreciate that. And I just think that's, you know, I just, for me, I really like that hard plastic finish better than, you know, I, than the in-case soft touch. So, um, yeah, that's my kind of update on that. I know I've had both of them throughout the summer since I had the MacBook, and now the summer's over. You know, I've had, you know, both of them for a certain amount of time and used both of them, and I really just prefer this spec see-through hard shell. So if you haven't seen my unboxing and review on that one, uh, check out that on my channel, and I, you can get it on my blog, too. I think it's still on the main page. It's the last one. Uh, it's from August 13th, so you can go check that out as well. The final thing I wanted to talk about, um, actually, I don't have a website to show you with it, but the final thing I wanted to talk about was an update on my Tetherberry. 
Um, as you may remember, Tetherberry is the application that allows me to tether my BlackBerry to my Mac, which is not something that you can do normally. Uh, Blackberries don't allow the tethering to Macs. Uh, it's just for PCs. I know a lot of people have found other ways to do it with different devices. I have the BlackBerry Tour, and the only way that I could find to get it to tether is through the Tetherberry application. Um, and the other day, actually, I decided to try it out in the car. And I wasn't driving, I was a passenger in the car, but I actually, uh, you know, plugged my BlackBerry into my laptop. And we were driving around, driving home, and I was getting internet, like, almost lightning fast speed. So I really think that Tetherberry, really, if the better, uh, obviously, the better service that you're getting, the faster you're going to be getting this internet. So I think that's always a plus. Um, that's why I haven't been getting excellent service at work because I just don't, excellent internet through my laptop at work because I just don't get excellent service at work. But when we were out on the road, I was getting like full bars and web pages were loading just as fast as they would if I was at home on my cable internet. So that's really fun. Um, to make this story even more interesting, I had decided to test to see if I could play WoW. Uh, World of Warcraft, so I opened it up and I signed in, and I actually was getting a uh, frame rate of something like 27 frames per second in Dalaran, which is, I don't know if anyone's familiar with your frame rate in Dalaran if you play World of Warcraft, but that's pretty good, I think. I usually get higher just on my MacBook when I'm at home, but being connected to my BlackBerry, I was actually able to walk around, play, you know, play the game. 27 frames per second in Dalaran. It was pretty awesome. So um, I'm really pleased, suffice to say, with this Tetherberry application. I think that it's really solved that whole problem of me tethering my BlackBerry to my Mac, and I really highly recommend it. If anyone has any questions, make sure you message me with those because it's just, I really am just full throttle with that. I think that it's a really great program, and it's definitely worth, worth the price. So um, if anyone's interested in that, I'll throw up a link in the sidebar. But that is my weekly tech roundup. If you can, please subscribe to my videos. My channel is Miss Trenchcoat. You can still IM me on my AIM screen name, The Pink Mac Blog. I know I'm on there less often than usual, but, you know, just throw me up on your buddy list. And if you see me on, you can send me a message, and I really appreciate those. And as always, make sure you check out my blog, uh, thepinkmac.blogspot.com. You can check out extra, you know, extra footage, extra um, stories on there, things that I don't really talk about here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. I've got a couple of different things going on this week, so I'll have another video probably in a few days for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.